going to be having to keep the electricity. This is going to be a quick energy check between you and the person you're dealing with. I went ahead and pre-shuffled the cards before we started the video to save time. We're going to pull two different spreads, um, one from each deck. And this first spread is going to be the energy of the person on your mind, their actions, and then their feelings, okay? All right, for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter, and you can swap the decks around. The other deck could be you, and then this one, either way. But I'm reading this as this is the person you're dealing with. So the person you're dealing with's energy is the King of Cups reversed, the Four of Pentacles, and the King of Swords reversed. So this person has kind of a shitty attitude towards you at the moment. It's got the lovers reversed underneath the bottom of the deck. So this can be saying that they feel like, or you, or both people, feel like there's too much damage that's been done at one point in time. This was a very intense connection that both people felt on an intense level. The connection may still be pretty intense, but the thing is, one person at least out of the two of you feels as if too much has been done for it to go back to the way it was. That's just what the underlying energy is. But with this person being the King of Cups reversed, I feel like they repress their emotions from you. I feel like they're guarding their heart at this moment. And with the King of Swords reversed, it's because they have a little bit of bitterness going on. Even if they were the one in the wrong, they still have a blaming bitterness energy towards you. All right, so what they're doing in regards to this connection, the Nine of Pentacles reversed, the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Swords. That's two knights side by side, so I feel like they're being very immature. With this Knight of Swords card being here, that's another card of sharp with the tongue energy because that King of Swords reversed is right above it. So I feel like, like I said, they have bitter blaming Betty energy. Bitter blaming Betty energy. I never come up with that one before. I don't know where that came from. With this Knight of Wands, their energy is very sporadic and all over the place. You may hear from them, but like I said, with this being there, it'll be sudden and it'll be because it's a burst of some kind of pissed off anger towards, towards you for something that's been done. But one thing about this person is they could be not doing very well financially with this Knight of Pentacles being reversed. That could have been some of the problems you and them had. It could have been that one of y'all was financially dependent on the other one. Y'all had money issues between the two of you if you were together. Or it just this person has money issues in general and that has put a damper on this connection. Okay? Their feelings is the King of Wands, the Five of Pentacles, and the Nine of Swords. Yes. They are worried about this shit. They feel abandoned by you. And maybe that's why they're doing the bitter thing. Maybe that's why they're being so sharp with their tongue. Why? Because they have abandonment issues that are coming up. They could have went back all the way to when they were a little kid. It doesn't even have to be now. But just because you and this person are in separation, which is the way it looks, they feel abandoned. But they have a lot of passion still for you. And it is in the upright. But I feel like if you do hear from this person between now and the next four to six weeks, it's going to be some kind of argument pops off between you and them. Because the King of Swords is reversed, showing bitterness, and the Knight of Swords is upright underneath that, showing swift, quick communication that could not be very nice. All right, so for this next deck, we're going to get the energy that manifests when you and this person interact, and then how you're feeling about them and what actions you may take in regards to this, okay? And this is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter. That Nine of Wands reversed all of a sudden when it came out, so I took it. All right, so the energy that manifests, your feelings about them, and your actions towards them. Yeah, the reason, okay. So the Seven of Swords is underneath the bottom of the deck. So one or both people has been not very honest and been deceptive with each other about something, which has created a sense of bitterness between the two of you of some kind. But your actions in regards to this is like, I believe this person may have some kind of codependent issues. And you're learning from your mistakes. I know I've skipped all the way down to the actions, but this just screamed at me. You're learning from the mistakes of the past dealing with this person and their codependent issues. 
And so you're leaving them out in the cold. So that's why their abandonment issues are being triggered because you are intentionally, you're consciously doing it. It's not something you're doing by mistake. You feel like the need to leave them out in the cold. You feel the need to abandon them, not speak to them. It's like you're learning from the mistakes. You're being taught a lesson here and you're actually learning the lesson that the best thing for you to do is leave this person out in the cold. The energy that manifests when you and this person interact is the Nine of Wands reversed, the Ace of Pentacles reversed, and the Ace of Swords. So if you and this person do interact, there could be some truthful communication that could come out about whatever the lies or deception that's underneath the bottom of the deck. That's an underlying energy. And with this coming out, this could be saying that the energy they had a while ago was King of Swords reversed and Knight of Swords. So... Even the King of Swords, he does speak truthful, but sometimes it's to hurt us. You know what I mean? But if you and this person interact, it's like both people may spout off at the mouth and get some things out that need to be told that were not very truthful and not very... They were Seven of Swords-like. You know what I mean? But also the energy that manifests is the Nine of Wands reversed and the Ace of Pentacles reversed. Not a new beginning. This is not the energy of a good new beginning. This is the energy of giving up on this. So once that truth comes out, once that cat's out of the bag, you know what I mean? That energy may end up making both people give up on this whole situation and not get off to a grounded new beginning. But at least the truth will be out in the open, you know? All right, so how do you feel about this person? You feel like this has been a missed opportunity. This person didn't live up to your expectations because things were very unfair. A lot of times when this card comes up, there are unfairness. There is, what I'm trying to say is a lot of times when this card comes up reversed, the person who spread it is, that person was treated very unfairly. Whether it was money-wise, whether it was time, effort, whatever it was, you gave a whole lot more on your side than they did. You also feel like this is not something that can go all the way because why? It was very unfair, uneven give and take energy. And so you feel like this is a missed opportunity because that person didn't give their 100% and you gave 110 basically. So you do feel that. And like I already said with your actions, you've, you're learning from your past mistakes here. You're leaving them out in the cold. But one thing that may help you in general is getting that energy out that manifests if y'all decided to interact. Everybody can do what they want. I'm just saying in general. There may be some lies and deception that needs to come out. So it will give you the energy of wanting to give up on this when you realize that I don't think you know all there is to know about some of the deceitful things this person may have done. And if you can get that out and learn whatever it is, you will feel the need to give up on this and realize it's never going to go anywhere. All right, Pisces, that's been your energy check-in, and thank you so much for watching.